Which F1 teammate pairing will finish higher in 2023? So essentially what we're going to do today is we're going to dive into each F1 teammate pairing and predict who we think will finish higher. Right, so let's begin with the back of the grid. Williams, Sargent versus Albon. I have gone for Alex Albon. I think Alex Albon should, in theory, destroy Logan Sargent just purely from the fact that he is a more experienced Formula One racer. Albon, I think, has fit in quite nicely into that Williams outfit. And I see Sargent having a big learning curve. Realistically, I think Albon will be on top pretty much every single race weekend. Now, with the predictions, we are also going to do a demolition scale. Oh, yes, that's right. So we make the prediction, but then we also judge how badly whoever wins will beat the other person, and it's between a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, so 1 is just beats them. I'm talking an absolute slither. And 10 is an absolute whitewash, not even a competition. So I'm going to rate this pairing 8. Yeah, no surprise. I've also gone for Alex Albon. I was obviously saying that I didn't think Sargent would do that well, but it's mainly the fact that he's in what I think will be the worst car on the grid, and he's got a far more experienced teammate. I'm going to say a Albon 9 out of 10. Um, I think, particularly at the start of the year, Logan needs to get up to speed quickly. When we say whitewash in the demolition scale, it's probably worth saying that that doesn't mean just 23-0 and 0 in qualifying. This is like full-blown, every session, just smashing. You know what I mean? So 8's pretty heavy, 9's getting there, uh, so you feel like Albon will comprehensively beat uh, Sargent this year. Our next team is Alpha Towery. Sonoda versus De Vries. So I've gone for Sonoda. And for my demolition grade, I'm going to go with another eight. I feel like Sonoda, if I'm, go if I'm backing what I predicted only a week ago, <laughs> that uh, De Vries could lose his race seat, then I have to be back in Sonoda. Yeah, I think Sonoda's going to have a decent season. He's going to step into that team leader role, which Gasly, of course, kind of had before. And he's going to step his game up and beat De Vries. I've still gone for Sonoda uh, to beat De Vries. Uh, it's strange to think this will be Yuki's third season. I don't think he's going to absolutely wipe the floor with De Vries. So I've gone for a two out of ten. I think it'd be quite close between them. Maybe De Vries takes a bit of a while to get up to speed, but then I think Sonoda will be better. But I hope you're right and I'm wrong. <laughs> Not long to wait until we find out. Haas! Magnussen versus Hulkenberg. For me, this one's very clear. I think it'll be quite close. However, I am backing... Nico Hulkenberg. I believe on the demolition scale, it'll be a measly three out of 10. So Hulkenberg and three for me. I think Nico is a very good driver as much as he has the worst unwanted record of no podiums with the most amount of starts. But he's born to be in the midfield is Nico Hulkenberg. And I think he's, he's shown before as well that he's able to jump into a car at very late notice and deliver so there you go. Three out of 10 on the demolition scale. I've gone for Hulkenberg as well. As you know, I picked him as the surprise of the year because I think some people think he's washed. And like you say, he's got that podium record. But I think Hulkenberg will be more consistent. I've gone for a five. And that's more that I think on the demolition scale, I, I'm kind of including the fact that I think pace-wise, they'll be close. But the reason it's a five for me is I think Hulkenberg will score a lot more points. We now move to Aston Martin. Alonso versus Stroll. No surprises here. I am backing Fernando Alonso. And on the demolition scale, I'm going nine. I think it's going to be quite heavily in the favour of Fernando Alonso. I am a little bit worried, not, not for Stroll as such, but worried for my own prediction that Stroll might do the thing where he just pops up in P10 now and again and you'd have no idea how he manages it. And you're pretty convinced Lawrence Stroll has paid the circuit organisers for a little cheeky shortcut that the cameras <laughs> didn't pick up. But realistically, I think Alonso is going to be quite a bit better than Stroll. Alonso proved last year that he has got the minerals. And I tend to agree that Alonso would probably completely own uh, Stroll in qualifying for the entirety of the season. However, I'm a little less 
optimistic because of that whole stroll strategy thing that we saw maybe with Vettel, even the final race in Abu Dhabi where Vettel was having an absolute incredible race and then all of a sudden strolls ahead of him and I think Alonso will not enjoy that if he's the one uh, on the end of that so I'm gonna go for a seven out of ten for Alonso okay we now move to Alfa Romeo Bottas versus Joe for me for this one I am backing Valtteri Bottas and I believe on the demolition scale we're gonna go with a four out of ten I think Joe definitely showed glimpses of of brilliance last year against his teammate Bottas, an experienced teammate at that. Yeah, I think there'll be maybe more of the same if Bottas will have a few more masterclasses in him and have some great drives. If you remember the start of last year, he was doing amazing things. I think more consistently wise, Bottas will will deliver, but that's not to say that Joe won't have some, some great times as well. So I think four out of tens kind of gives a, a good sort of picture as to what I think is going to happen. I'm going to go that Joe Guan Yu beats Bottas over the season. So I've gone for Zhou Guan Yu. Um, but not by a huge amount. Uh, I'm not that confident. I've gone for a 2 out of 10. Uh, so I've gone for the bold prediction and then kind of bottled it a bit by going, uh, only a 2. Joe improved over the year. Uh, he was very unfortunate when um, the alpha was good, that, that he had a bit of a, a poor luck and reliability. And maybe Bottas... Maybe the honeymoon period is over a bit. The start of that year, he was so excited to be at a new team and uh, he was performing absolutely brilliantly. And then towards the end of the year, we didn't see the same Bottas. So uh, I'm going to predict that Zhou Guan Yu beats him. Alpine, Gasly versus Ocon. I am going to back Esteban Ocon. And on the demolition scale, I'm going for a 6 out of 10. I think Ocon, with the fact that he has Alpine around him, he's settled into the team very, very much so. And if anything, is their golden child a little bit. We could see some fireworks. We saw slight sparks between Ocon and Alonso at times last year. And I feel like this will only get more. Uh, so I can't wait for that. But I think Ocon will come out on top and six out of ten. So I've gone for Ocon as well. Like you say, uh, I predicted Gasly in the, in the predictions as the biggest flop. Um, and I'm doubling down and going the Ocon beats him comprehensively and I've gone for an 8 out of 10. I think Ocon is incredibly underrated uh, and I think he's going to he's going to show what he can do and I, I just I just worry that Gasly will struggle uh, against him. Let's go to McLaren now. Norris versus Piastri. This one I think probably has the most split in terms of where people think this teammate rivalry could go. Uh, but for me, I am going to go with Lando Norris and demolition scale of 4 out of 10. I think that Lando Norris over the course of a season will outperform Oscar Piastri, but I don't think it's going to be anywhere near the margin that a lot of people are thinking. But look, I think Piastri is going to have some moments in the sun as well. So I've gone for Lando Norris as well, but I've gone a bit higher with a 6 out of 10. I think that, you know, if you look at last year, Daniel Ricciardo and how it, how it went with him, I'm not backing that it's going to go completely the same way and that Norris is a complete teammate killer. But I think Norris is driving incredibly well. He's incredibly consistent, like you say. OK, now it's Mercedes time. Hamilton versus Russell. Uh, so for me, I think that Hamilton will come out on top in this particular rivalry and it will be a three out of ten. So I, I feel as though... Lewis will be even more fired up this year. But also the fact that he would not have taken kindly to Russell beating him in the title. There's no, no two ways about it. Even if there are explanations and reasons, Hamilton would not have enjoyed that. Yeah, Hamilton for me, 3 out of 10. I've gone for Hamilton as well. Uh, and I've gone a 4 out of 10. I think, he'll, uh, I think it will be close between them in some races and George will still be that consistent driver okay we now move on to ferrari leclerc versus signs i am gonna go with charles leclerc and on the demolition scale i am going to stick and submit a six out of ten i think charles leclerc is the stronger of the two uh in terms of over the course of a season um so for me i think leclerc will come out the the blocks firing wherever that ferrari allows him to fire we will find out. Yeah, I think it will be still quite comprehensively in, in Leclerc's favour. 
I've gone for Leclerc as well. Uh, I've gone for a 5 out of 10. You know, Leclerc's quicker for me, no doubt. Uh, obviously had his inconsistencies, but then lost a lot of a lot of points that weren't his fault. Um, I think Sainz will close up a little bit. Uh, I hope he does, because the start of the year in particular last year was painful for him that he had that race winning car and just didn't didn't perform. So, yeah, Leclerc would would do it. But um, I think Sainz will will be closer. (laughs) Now, the final team, Red Bull, Verstappen versus Perez. Oh, this one not going to be good if you like Sergio Perez. Um, I am backing Max Verstappen, and I think on the demolition scale, we're looking at a 8 out of 10. I think it was close to a 9, but I feel as though Verstappen, when you actually take into account the whole scenario that's going on there, Red Bull is built around him. He is the world champion, and if something isn't to his liking, they will make it to his liking even if it means Perez falls off the pace. So for me, I think Perez is going to struggle. He is the perfect number two driver. And if Mercedes and Ferrari are both there as well, to win the driver's championship, you need to have your strongest foot forward. And that's what Red Bull will do with Verstappen. I've gone for Verstappen, but I've gone for a nine out of 10. I think Verstappen is in the best form he's ever been. And when that car got to his liking, it was quite scary, actually, that when the car wasn't to his liking... He would have been right in the championship um, and doing extremely well anyway. It sounds really harsh to say 9 out of 10, but realistically, it's a 9 out of 10, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I think he's going to have an absolute stinker. It's because he's against a guy that's driving absolute phenomen- phenomenally and uh, the best he's done like in his whole career and he's at the peak of his powers. So 9 out of 10 for Verstappen and um, I still think Sergio will do Uh, a good job and deliver them the constructors title they want lots of love see you very soon and yeah formula one's back very soon yes bye